What's good, everybody? Trode here, back again with episode two of Danganronpa, and I'm really bad at doing opening, intro, whatever, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Alright, so last episode, everyone was going to, I believe, um, some part of the school, and now we were left behind, so I guess we're just gonna have to talk to people. Uh, let's go with my favorite boy, uh, Taka. See what he has to say. What the heck? Is this some kind of bad joke? No, they're all just freaking out, I guess. Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Yeah, I don't know if we need to talk to all of these guys. We might be able to just leave. Oh, what's that? A mailbox. That's a mailbox? I thought it was a toaster. Let's, let's talk to Junko Enoshima. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Indeed, it was. We got trophies over here. Oh, what are you? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Shit. That kind of game of the plan. Yeah, I need to. Alright, so that's everyone except these two. Do we have to talk to them all? True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. No, that's true. Not wrong. I did not want to talk to her again, though. That's why I suck at shooter games. Well... Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Thanks for asking. I'm doing fine. How are you doing? So... Oh, what are you? Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? Looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. Uh... Let's leave. Yeah. Alright. Are we supposed to follow this? Or no, that's just a circle. I'm stupid. So... I'm trying to remember where we were supposed to go. Oh, gym. Thank you, Makoto. Where would the gym be? Oh. Probably uh, the basketball thing, whatever. Again, I really like the art style of this hey, game. It's pretty on. impressive. I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Heck, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Shit. Whack. It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, who's wherever... Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mundu, stop running. Well, it looks like we're all going. Alrighty. Oh. Press tab to observe. Sorry for the late notice. That sounds like something I'd post on one of my videos. Jeez. Okay, that was really loud for me. I guess that makes things more convenient, though, huh? Okay, they're literally, it's literally like a 2D cutout. Why does she have two shadows? See that? Okay, uh, let's talk to Junko first. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Display case. I did not mean to hit that. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? This is probably just a tiny fraction of all the rewards. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. School has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all be just for that weird, weird school broadcast, could they? So... Pretty sure that's everything, right? Oh, the doors. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See ya! Told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Here was right. 
but in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Monokuma. And I am this school's headmaster! Was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. What is this music? Right before my eyes it was. What I was seeing was, it was utterly comprehensible. Or incomprehensible, my bad. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> Teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, Told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. Jeez. <laughs> Calm down, it's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate it or even comprehend it. <laughs> but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Hmm. He's abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of this world. And to protect such splendid hope, Ta -da! we'll all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What did you just say? Till the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't like for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Mm. Yeah, what the heck? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. You don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land behind those walls ever again. Cut off? It's all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the heck is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut this out. It's not funny anymore. You keep seeing this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but I guess do? you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. If someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. What does that mean? 
disrupt the harmony? Alright, um, that, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one per- uh, That's illegal. <laughs> that's illegal. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, and knighting? How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Simple as that. <laughs> Rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What are you even talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary or somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? <laughs> oh, this guy... I really hope he doesn't die. This guy cracks me up. Stop blabbering out with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want, so kill. Go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? He got us, okay? You scared the heck out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right. right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of tricking, alright? So, uh, like. <laughs> Dude, shut up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mono placed himself in front of Monokuna, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, joke. What? You mean like your heir? You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that beeping and say something! Watch out! He's gonna explode. Five bucks. Five bucks he explodes. Uh. Hurry and throw it! As soon as he did. Uh. Uh -huh. What the? That sure wasn't a joke. It blew up. There was painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And there's another one. There's another one? <laughs> Damn you! Seriously, tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with the warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on their butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokuma is in place all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! Official student handbook, pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the Digibook, like Digimon. I was wrong. Hmm. 
This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sing. Rules are strict, yes, but they are also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. Same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishment in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya. With that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? I'll ask that to you guys. No, why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? What just happened? Calm down. We need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If you want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone? That's... You're abducted out of nowhere and stuffed in this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Hm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? For that, no one had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. This is kind of a bop! I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. His words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us began suspicious of everyone else. You're forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? That was how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hope so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. You know, you'd wonder how it has such a good reputation if it's actually a school of despair, because... It'd kind of be odd if they had, like, a one graduation rate. So we have 15 students alive right now. Oh, alright. Well, thank you so much for watching. Nah. What? Yeah, I just skipped over that because I figured that was the opening. Sorry. If... Uh, yes, I do. Oh, I got an achievement from Zero to Hero. Alright. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung around heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. You know, I know, you know, it's like a visual novel, right? So, you know, the visualization is supposed to be good, but like, it is good visualization. I will give it that. It took everything I had to just to endure that weight. Chapter 1. Hope we get to the first trial soon, because I've heard that's when the game starts picking up fast. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. Alright, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be either the chicken with the blue hair, I forgot her name, or Junko. And? Am I right? Hey. No, I'm not. You're just standing around glaring at each other. Your point of comment was directed at everyone in the room. Help us pull all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Huh? Jeez, you have to yell all the time. You have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot to look for a way out. Duh. What the... 
We totally need to find whoever that was controlling that stupid bear and beat him up. But, but... But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, with something like that might happen again. All right. Fine, so then let's I'm... hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Alright. Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. It was just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. <sighs> Oh, you're talking about night time is making me tired. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping where anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. Minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Ad additional school regulations may be added as necessary. So I guess we do kill someone, because there's, I mean, there's no way the main character loses, right? So I, in the end, I think we probably will have to kill someone. I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a response waiting for him. Or a respawn. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> well, that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, hey, so I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate. I already read this, not reading it again. Talking about the second half, right, where it says, unless they are discovered. Wondering about that myself. Hmm. Saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? Hmm. I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> Give me a break. I don't like. I don't like that girl. I don't like a full-on stab. Hmm. For now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Mm. True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's start all looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started about thinking murdering of them. Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. That would never. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... I like this Byakia guy. Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What's that supposed to be? Such ignorance. A tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? What'd you just say? You sound a kind of goody-goody little... You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are? Talk to me like that. You think you're my dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, like, you could have used the voice line for the text there, 
and it would have made perfect sense. Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. Didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next second I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd be trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning, being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... A bedroom? <laughs> huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Handbook? Handbook. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth ballots may not be available. Truth bullets, sorry. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Alright. We got a camera down here? Oh, it's a lint roller. <laughs> That's my bad. Uh, some car keys, I guess? Oh, this must be the key to the room. My name's Rena. Why did I say car keys? My mind's all over the place. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so that's an actual camera. Oh, and I hit the metal plate. Oh, wait, there is something over there, though. What are you? It's a notepad, because school must have given one to each of us. It's an everyday trash can. What was that? Did we get points for exploring everything? God, that is so loud. The bra. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the cameras, so I better make sure I don't touch it. This bed is so, like, oh, I feel bad. It, I mean, it looks like it's made out of cor cardboard, but that's, like, the entire game, so <laughs> not much I can really say about that. What are you? piece of paper hanging up the wall, which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathroom and the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. Wow, that's, that's pretty stereotypical, huh? For the boys, we believe a... Oh, I skipped over that, and I don't think I should have. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of these tools should be ampled. Don't think, just feel. Crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Oh, we can look at the desk. Looks like there's something in the drawer. Toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Let's see. Um... Okay, we've already inspected all of that. And I believe this is the only thing we have left right here before going to the door. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Huh. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so... Let's go to this door and we'll check the other one. This would appear to be the bathroom. It's not opening. Guess it's locked. So, that means it must be, like... 10 p.m., right? It must be midnight. Or at night. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? What is it? They're probably just chilling with the homies. You know how it is. We gotta get out of here. Uh, I mean, we can probably just go out there, right? And yeah, we don't get anything else. 
rush out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting there for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. You punch him again? Are you kidding me? Oh, it was a woman. It's the one lady. Who's the childhood oh. friend, 500%. Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. And a bare smile on her face. I stood up slowly. You okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. Oh, I like that there's a little um, portrait of Makoto up there. It's a, it's a cute little 8-bit thing. Uh. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked down right there in front of everyone. Guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. See, she's gonna be the child friend, but she's gonna be really psycho. 100%. What are you doing here? Uh, um, Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Okay. Hoping you come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see... If you got knocked down, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. But we decided it would be more efficient if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to go together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to go back together? See, what I'd do in this situation is I'd go in groups of two people. They're f so, like, if someone killed another person, you'd know who it was and you'd find them out. So, you, you know, someone would probably die, but you'd bait out, you know, the killer. That's good. Alright, that's Mondo's room, Kiyotaka's room. This feels really weird, Biakia's. Can I go in any of these, you think? Looks like there's some kind of nameplate towards themselves. Okay, so everyone lives in the same hall. Yeah, okay, so it's all nameplate. Oh, we can see them on the map. Here's Peter Griffin over here. Everyone's meaning, okay, well, I guess I have to go to the dining hall. Alright. Is this a clothing? Oh, it's a laundry. <laughs> I thought it was a clothing store. There's a bath over there. Oops, Peak Academy. I believe this is the dining hall. Oh, no, it's not. I'm just stupid. Oh, it's, uh... Open up. Wait, do I have to go through the bath to get... Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot! Ah! Oh. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Oh, uh, I did not mean to... Well, you know what? Actually, I think that's probably a good place to end this off. This is going to be a little shorter because last one was really drawn out. So if we can actually save... Alright. Save here. So thank you so much for watching. If you have up until this point, I really appreciate each and every one of you. We are at 600 subscribers now. That is absolutely crazy to me. I really can't thank you all enough. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're excited to see more of this because I'm really excited to play more of it. I'm having a ton of fun here. So uh, yeah, have a good one, everyone.